squared plus 6x minus 16 using our special sum and product rule. We have to look at the middle term, which is positive 6. So we have to create two numbers. When you add them together, give you positive 6. And when you multiply together, give you negative 16. Now, because you have in a trinomial a positive and negative sign, you're going to follow the pattern of positive and negative. Now, the next trick is to come up with a number pair. You start with a positive 6 as your sum, so you have to use numbers greater than 6. So let's try 7 and negative 1. If I have 7 plus negative 1 or 7 minus 1, it gives me positive 6. That's okay. But what happens when you have 7 times negative 1? You get negative 7. But that's not the product we want. We want negative 16. So let's try one number greater than 7. Let's try 8. And if you have 8, well, 8 minus 2 is 6. So that works. And 8 times negative 2 is negative 16. That works also. So we have two numbers, 8 and negative 2. So in this case here, we're going to use x plus 8 and x minus 2 as our two binomial pairs.